Well, I mean, first of all, I, I think you have to remember that this is all prediction. And uh, what we do is we pretty much go by the, uh, uh, the Pacific Ocean temperatures. Um, as you know, weather travels from west to east. So most of these storms come off the west coast, and they move into the central U.S. and into the upper Midwest and into the east coast. Um, last year, we, as you know, we had record record uh, setting temperatures and uh, uh, rainfall and uh, snowfall. And right now, they're predicting a, uh, a La Nina pattern, which means that Pacific waters are cool just like last year. So we're expecting a very active storm track to bring much heavier than normal precip from the uh, southern plains through Tennessee into Ohio and the Great Lakes and the northeast because of above normal temperatures. Much of the precip will likely be rain, mixed precip, although during February some potent east coast storms could leave heavy snow, uh, albeit uh, of a wet and slushy consistency. So we'll see that uh, rain, snow mix, and uh, maybe even a few winter weather advisories and maybe even a few blizzard, uh, blizzard warnings heading through the winter. Comparing to the to the past years, how do you think this this winter will will turn out? Will it be one of one of our hardest winters, or um, kind of just well, a steady? Well, I think. Well, first of all, last year uh, uh, was the coldest winter in thirty years. Um, it was recorded across many parts of the U.S. Uh, from 2010 and 2011. Eastern parts of the U.S. plunged to a record uh, of, of minus 50 below. So, I mean, we could be looking at a winter similar to 2010 and 2011 because of that cooler water that's in the Pacific. So we could see some really serious storms move from west to east. And, and of course, you get the clipper systems that are moving down from Canada that bring that cold Arctic air across the Great Lakes, and then we get the lake effect snow. So we're looking at that type of a pattern all over again uh, that we looked at last year. We could be see- looking at that same thing this year. Um, looking into a, a localized area, of Akron, how does that compare to, to the nation with the winter coming up? Well, according, well, comparing it to the nation, um, well, the, the east coast, uh, the south, all temperature changes. I mean, the west coast, but if you're talking about specifically the Ohio Valley, um, Akron, uh, um, Cleveland, I mean, uh, we're expecting a, 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 a above average uh, pattern as far as storm systems moving across the Great Lakes. So that could bring us more snow. We could see uh, um, that slushy mix more so than than uh, just uh, the, the fluffy snow. But the precip is going to be the big deal. And once again, this is all a prediction because we, <laughs> we're just going by, by the pattern. Uh, but these patterns can change. But uh, it looks right now as though uh, we will probably be dealing with a, a, a harsh winter with a with a lot of serious storms moving in from the west. Do you know Do you know how they kind of get these predictions? Uh, well, usually it's it's by the water temperature. Um, it's all controlled by pretty much the water temperature, and um, I can I can give you the technical term, but no one would understand it. No, that's it, but, okay. No, I just um, wanted to make sure the, that it was now, you know. this is in I mean in layman's terms, it's all about the the Pacific Ocean water temperature, but uh, the national, the latest National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration update suggests neutral conditions ahead, but a negative Pacific decadal oscillation. See that? Mm-hmm. That's all. Right. It just means that the waters uh, in the Pacific are just cooler. That's yeah. all. Um, the PDO pattern is a pattern of uh, uh, Pacific climate variance, and that just means is it warm or is it cold? You know, mm-hmm. and that's what pretty much controls our weather, and and pretty much uh, determines if it's going to be a severe weather season or right. uh, a mild uh, weather season. And right now, all of the models are pointing at the Pacific Ocean with cooler waters, which means that that warm air wants to rise. And whenever you get warm air rising, it's got to come down somewhere, and it comes down in the form of snow or slush or or rain.